Good morning, class. I am teacher Zaira M. Escleta, and I will be your English teacher for today. So before we're going to start our lesson, let's have an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Okay, so before we're going to start our lesson, I have a three rules. So the first one is listen. Second was is, second one is take down notes, and the third one is always open your camera. So who are the absent today? Nikki? Nine, ma'am. Okay, thank you. But before we're going to start, or i going to start our lesson, is what did we learn yesterday? Ellie? So yesterday, we learned about simple sentence. So when we say simple sentence, it is a sentence consisting of one clause with single subject and single predicate. So kapag sinabi natin simple sentence, meron siyang isang single subject at isang single predicate. So for example, Bea is happy. So ang subject natin sa Sentence ay si Bea at ang predicate natin ay happy. Okay, thank you. So ngayon ay may kasama kong kaibigan. Siya ay si Dora. Kilala niyo ba kung sino si Dora? Opo, ma'am. Okay, very good. Ngayon ay may inihanda ako sa inyong laro kung saan ito ay ang Dora said. Maaari bang magsitayo kayong parehas? At lahat ng, sas oh, lahat ng sasabihin ni Dora ay gagayahin ninyo. So una, Dora said, shake your hands. <laughs> Next one, Dora said, sit down. <laughs> Third one, Dora said, jump your feet. Okay, <laughs> jump your feet. Jump lang naman ang feet eh. Wait lang, gagawin ko para ano, para... Wait lang, wait lang. Sabihin mo, jump your feet. Jump your feet. Okay, very good. The next one is raise your hand. Okay, Dora said raise your hand. And the last one, Dora said clap your hands. Okay, very good. Ngayon ay minihanda akong activity kung saan lahat na nakasulat sa kanan, sa kaliwa, Itatapat ninyo sa mga larawan na nasa kanan. So, number one is drink. Saan kaya nakatapat? Sa una, pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat o panglimang larawan? Ma'am. Yes, Nikki? Pangapat pong larawan. Okay, very good. Pangapat. So, next is <clears throat> eat. Sa una, pangalawa, um, pangatlo, pangapat, o panglima. Ma'am, can I? Third, ano po, third picture. Okay, very good. So, third one is sing. Panguna, pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat, o panglima. Ma'am. Oh. Second picture po. Okay, very good. Na, pang-apat is dance. Saan siya nakatapat? Sa una, pangalawa, pangatlo, pang-apat o pang-limang picture? Ma'am. Yes, Ellie? 
Sa last picture po. Okay, very good. Last picture. At ang panghuli ay wash. Saan kaya siya nakatapat? Ma'am. Saan po? Nasa picture po. Okay, very good. At sa pagpapatuloy ng aking klase, ay ipapakita ko sa inyong mga larawan at sasabihin niyo sa akin kung ano ang nasa larawan. In English. Ma'am. Yes? Ma'am, I... Yes, Ellie? Uh, kura... Umiiyak po ba ba? Ay, crying. The girl is... The girl is crying. The girl is... Crying. Next. Ma'am. Yes, Nikki? The girl is drinking. Okay, very good. Third one. Ma'am. Ma yes, Ellie? Uh, the boy is reading. Oh, very good. Pang-apat. Ma'am. Nikki? The boy is playing. Very good. And last one. Ma'am? Yes, Ellie? The girl is also playing. The girl is playing. Okay, very good. Bigyan niyo ang mga sarili niyo na ang limang bagsak. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. Okay, class. So, alam nyo ba na ang pinakita kong picture kanina ay may kinalaman sa kung ano ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon. Ito ay ang action words or verbs. So, ano nga ba kapag sinabi natin verbs? So, when we say verb, a verb is a word that describes an action. For example, kanina, sinabi niya na the, the girl is playing. Ang action words sa ating Sentence is playing, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, a verb is a word that describe an action. So, Nikki, give me an example of a verb. Ma'am. Oh, yes, Ellie. Running. Okay, very good. Walking. Walking. Dancing, ma'am. Dancing. So as my activity, encircle the action words that being used in the sentence. The first one is, the boy is playing volleyball. Alin kaya ang action words sa sentence? Ma'am. Yes, Nikki? Playing po. Playing. Next one, Marian is eating banana. Ma'am, um, can I? Yes, Ellie. Eating po. Okay, very good. Third one, the children are walking. Ma'am, walking po. Okay, very good. Pang-apat, my mother is singing. Singing po, ma'am. Very good. And last one, she is crying. Crying po, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, ano nga ulit pag sinabi nating verb? Action word po, ma'am. Yes, action. Po, ma action. Okay, a sentence that describes an action words. So, ngayon, bilang assignment, give at least five sentences about verb. Example, Mike is drinking water. So, Pinagatunan ba kayo class sa aralin natin ngayong araw? Opo, Opo. ma'am. Ano ang natutunan ninyo? Ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, okay. Sino muna? Ako po. Okay, Ellie. Um, um, natutunan ko po ngayong araw na ito ay yung action word po na ang tawag sa kanya ay verb. Okay, very, po, very good. Oh, ikaw, Nikki. 
Ang natutunan ko po ngayong araw ay ang mga words po na meron pong action gaya po ng walking, dancing, singing. Okay, very good. So magaling mga bata, yun lamang ang aralin natin ngayong araw na ito. Maraming salam. Thank you po, ma'am. Thank you po. Thank you po.